Hi everyone, welcome to Sustainable Innovation YouTube channel. Today we are here to learn some management practices in mango farming. Please stay tuned so that you can be able to handle those issues of best management within mango farming for successful harvest. Welcome to Zana Permaculture Farm where I do fruit farming as one of the elements of permaculture farming. This is mango fruit tree. The mango fruit tree is one of the enterprises I have in this my farm and it is one of the areas where there is good income. As we stand here, there are some challenges we usually express or experience here. The fruit fly challenge. As I said, in every aspect we must take consideration of the environment and the use of chemical. And this one we use integrated pest management where we have used the trappers. This is the trapper, the fruit fly trapper. How does this work? This one usually attracts the male flies, fruit flies. Here we have the scent. This is where we usually have our scent in this white surface and the scent is serving the smell of the female fruit flies. So it will try to attract all the male within this area. They will get through this hole because all the concentration of the smell will be up here. After getting here, they will be trapped and this water have used a water which has made out of shop. We have made the, few, the, few, the form of the soap by just having the normal soap and making the fume then from that mixture is what we bring here. So if they have got inside here, they will get tired and drown in this water. Then we shall have reduced the number of male fruit flies. We are doing that because we don't want to get rid of every fruit fly in the, in the environment. That one we can interfere with a lot of, we can bring a lot of problems because of killing one, one element within the chain, the chain web can cause a lot of problems. So we usually do it like this. Uh, in this mango farming, we are encouraged to reduce the use of chemical and pesticide. This is because we want to ensure that the crude chemical content is minimized in the fruit, especially when we are consuming the fruit. So that is the essence. We must also take in consideration the spacing and the management. If you look at this, mango at the center point there is a lot of light at the center we ensure that we don't get any darkness here the center should be have enough light so that it discourage the pest from harboring from the dark areas so that's, that's that one is also an area we should take care of and they would pruning, removing excess leaves. <coughs> Sorry. You only allow it to have three branches. The excess one you remove so that most of the nutrients is translated to the fruit. And you should do proper mulching and plant the low laying crops to avoid competition 
those are the management you can practice in your mango farm. Thank you. I hope now that you've learned why this thing is here as a way of prosperity. And thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Thank you.